Good afternoon. Welcome to the program right here, LURLive.com. The moment has come. The moment is right here. Our very, very special guest is in the studio. I've got to tell you, want to welcome Shabada and Angel to LURLive.com. Good afternoon to you. Hey, a very good afternoon, Shabada and Angel. How are you doing? Okay, Stop okay. Like that. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, welcome. You come from over here. Oh, I well, say. Uh, I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you. What. After a sold out performance in 2012, the king of comedy, Shabada, is back to give you more than before. Right here in the UK, of course, in the heart of Luton, fans get ready for the great man. And of course, I've got to tell you, Angel, very good afternoon to I you. Oh, really? Yeah. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> right, before we start, I want to say very good afternoon. Welcome to LURLive.com, Luton Urban Radio. Thank you. And how was the journey down here to Luton? North Chaffee. Uh, well, you're here. And too much stop like yeah. Yeah, oh, Shabbat, that's Shabbat, right? Anyway, yeah. now Shabbat, if I can just ask you kindly to come next to the microphone, because if you want to introduce yourself to our audience this afternoon, a very good afternoon to you. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Keith Shabbat Ramsey, aka DBDB Shibi, <laughs> alongside Angel Dainty Balance Panty and Half a Dog Junior Williams. Yeah, are we there and are we say crosses in a little time? You better believe, better believe it. Well, who is Shabada? All purpose. Very close to wash calm. Also, me and me able. Well, if you can, for our audience, of course, we can't wait for the event taking place across the UK. Tell us about your background and how you got involved in theatre and acting. Well, I started acting from birth, but I got involved in theatre in 2006. Yes, by Stages Productions, right? So that's where I started. And from then, I've been soaring to new heights. Indeed, you have. We've been watching so much, so much great write-up and great talk about yourself. What was the highlight of your career and when did it begin? I know you said 2006. When did you realize that, hey, I've now arrived and the audience is with me right here? I've not not arrived yet. (laughs) I'm waiting to arrive. You're waiting to arrive. But we we know you've arrived right here at LURLive.com, so you're live and direct. That's great stuff. That's a good start. Uh, Okay, man. I'll take it as a start. So, I mean, we went through uh, some of the archives and we realized, I, I, I thought the highlight of, of perhaps one of your life was starring with uh, Oliver Samuels last year. Um, th- was that one of the sort of a career highlight or was no, there more I than that? I star with Oliver Samuels. Oh. He did a two for one. He did his show and I did mine. Tell us more about that particular encounter. Yeah, that was in New York though. We got uh-huh. a two for one. We got two shows for the price of one. Oliver had... His production and I had mine, so that's, mm-hmm. that's what happened. The production itself, can you tell us some of the cast and what it involves as well? You know, when you're on stage, how do you get the audience bubbling and to actually feel that this is me, I'm performing, and this is what I'm about? I just try to be myself and I try to give a good performance with a good production. You uh-huh. understand me? So that's what caught the audience's eyes. It's not about acting for me, but it's about, it's about um, persuading ones, one to see the, the genuinity of the character. The characters you've played are many, many various ones. Some of them often you know loudish yeah. uh, roaches and yeah. uh, you know outlandish as well but you are somebody that still remain very private about your personal life yes I'm very private <laughs> I'm very private and we're getting there now what, what, do you, what do you believe is the secret for that mm, I'm, a, I'm just keeping a low profile I'm low just staying pro- by myself uh. I don't like to mix with the crowd too much you mm-hmm. understand me uh. I'm just staying by myself I'm not loud I'm not like angel or half a dog or angel or <laughs> well, you talk about Angel. Now, now Angel is sitting right there. Perhaps Angel would like to come forward to the mic and tell us about this great man, Shabada. Uh, what is it about him that gets the audience moving and getting enthralled and his persona, if you can? Look here, six years now, oh, seven years now, I work with Shabada. Uh, First production, Bashman, Granny, the tour we start off together. And, you know, him personality, beautiful. Him work mm. with people, you know, him current, him keep up the art, whatever, him feel for say at the time. Suppose somebody we got drop off or them nail, him just flexible. Him full of talent. Him just, him just, boy, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Him just one of a kind. You know? Absolutely. Talking about full of talent, we'll be back after a few words because I understand there's an album. Uh, as an artist, you're now seeking your, 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 your 
Adventures as an artist. You've got a forthcoming album. Before you, you tell us about that, if you can. You, boo boo, I want you. You feel like get a food? I want you. Man, that, don't buy you. I want you. You smell like. Mm-hmm. Well, as he goes, we've got the great man in the studio, plus very special guest right here. Now, of course, um, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna turn the town a little bit more. Just want to find out a little bit more because the audience is awaiting yeah. for the great. Yeah, I'm feeling very privileged standing right close to you, Shabada. How are you doing? I'm all right. You I'm comfortable right. now? No, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Okay, great stuff. This is now, London. We say pound. Hey, yeah, I like that. I like that. Listen, um, so the album. Uh, tell us briefly if you can, because I just want to get a uh, taste of this. The album is a mixture of everything. You mm-hmm. understand? Excitement. It's about excitement, really. You understand? Because it's about it's for the ladies, so you know the mix up and the chore and all of them something they will give the ladies. Because we have another one say hooked up straight up with a bang to the side. Uh-huh. People who come and find out what is hooked up straight up and bang to the side. Because enough girls out and them ear one do. Uh huh. Enough girls out and them at and them don't live nowhere. Okay. I mean I throw my word by in jail. Uh huh. Oh really? Brazilian well, uh, Angel, you have a friend, I'm a door one flop you. <laughs> I hear dearer than our stove. We're not going to give her any more. We're not going to give her any more. What a breadfruit. <laughs> now, listen, as a public figure now, are you ready now to brace the public in in being who you are and coming up and say, this is me, my prerogative? Because many questions, of course, the rumors are being asked about. Why is it you know, just go straight Shabada? to the point of what you want to ask? Okay. Me? Are you gay? <laughs> what you think? You look well. Okay. And you wear it good. Okay. Let me stay right there because this is what I don't do. Mm-hmm. If you ask me if I'm gay, I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. You understand? Whatever you think, that's what I'm going to work with. That's what I told the paper over here. I love that. Because we had that cut really. We're not, you know, I thought it was fascinating the way you, you addressed that. I like, I like, I like, to, I like to keep people puzzled. puzzled that's yeah. me. There's oh, no challenge right. if I put Just everything on the table. Try to figure out who I am. Mm. You understand me? Because in doing that, you're going mad. Absolutely. Now, the challenges, talk about challenges. When you're on stage mm-hmm. and the acting, you're a writer. You're, a, you're an artist. I'm an you're artist. You're a producer. I'm an artist. This is a natural thing in you. Yes. What makes you come across these particular uh, preparation of the art that you bring to your audience? As I said before, I just try to be me. I try to embody the character which I'm playing. You understand me? And bring it to fruition so persons can see it as real. Mm-hmm. And not something that is on stage or on screen. But you can see it and you can relate to it. Also. There's been plenty of praise uh, from uh, for Ramsey, of course, whose other credits include like Father, like Son, and the D, uh, D, D, uh, Die Driver, is it? Yeah. A huge stint in the popular bashment granny that earned you a huge acclaim, most notably by the Gleaner itself. Uh-huh. Um, tell us about the characters James, of course, Shabada Bounds brings to the audience. I, I, I gave the character name um, James Bond, but mm-hmm. my producer saw that it wasn't going anywhere, so it best you play Shabada because Shabada is very rare. Mm-hmm. You understand me? And that is where the character kick off. As you're getting ready for the upcoming tour right here in the UK. Yeah, I have um, been ready. Appearances in crosses. What sort of expectations do you hope to get from the audience? Because I believe this is the second time tour in England, is it? Or no, first that's off? the second time. You've been here before, yeah? Several times. Several times. Yes. Enjoy the audience here? Yeah, of course. Uh huh. I'm coming here from 2007. Wonderful. Yeah. So what what can you expect? What can we expect from you? Of A course, lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. Excitement, fun, laughter. That's what we always give. <laughs> give indeed now tell us if you can I mean the writer of course the person um, who, who put this thing together Michael across Denton. Michael Denton yes. how great a writer is he how great He's character is he, he take, yeah, he took the time to scope the, 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 the characters mm-hmm. you understand me and, and fill them like myself half a dog dainty you know the director said okay then we want somebody else and then we get Calvin Carty you mm-hmm. understand me mm-hmm. he didn't even audition not at all no okay and he will tell you why uh-huh because he's very cocky too <laughs> he's right right you're going to be talking to him shortly now before you actually move on because i know you've got a busy schedules across here and you and Luton yourself what would be your final message to our audience to our listeners right here at lurlive.com my message always is be who you are and be proud of who you are and you understand me let not negativity get you down mm-hmm. right okay and when can we expect to see you performing next uh December. December. You sure? 
<laughs> well, it's been real, of course, having the great men in our studio right here, Shabada. And we're going to be talking to, of course, Michael shortly, uh, the writer, here to behind Crosses Itself. Now, be 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 before we do that, I've got to bring uh, Angel close, closer, closer. Tell me, my dear, tell me. I mean, obviously, uh, this man here, he, he's very, very private, isn't he? Very, very private. But you know, I don't me. I am the BFF. Uh-huh. What's another fear me for no wire and thing extra? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else is in the bag? What else is in well, the Well, I can see you starting him off right now. Now, listen. Uh, nowadays, of course, uh, there's so many challenging things, issues happening worldwide, um, issues happening, you know, around the community. Is he when he when he's actually on stage performing? I know uh, we've seen him performing. He has this nonchalant about him. He completely changes himself. Yes. Apart from the quietness and the shyness about the man. Yes, once Keith Ramsey is on stage, you know, him no longer Keith Ramsey because Keith Ramsey and Shabada are two different people. You know? uh -huh. Shabada is for the stage. Keith Ramsey is very shy, private and all of that, but the Shabada, Lord Jesus. Different. Can't contain him. Okay, okay. Can't come out of my bag. Oh, he's already in your bag already? <laughs> you be, we better be watching now. We gotta watch him right now. with Keith Shabada Ramsey, once he's delivering a show, you're going to know that, okay, then Shabada is going to do his best. He's going to put mm. his best foot forward you know that is him mm -hmm. him get nothing but 100 indeed sometime um even a, a situation i heard about i wasn't there but you know him was going through something really 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 Abel williams in the uk here mm -hmm. yeah father <laughs> respect respect so we don't know yet yeah you see you see no, no, remember said there's um Christopher Johnny Dale is in the show. Yeah, oh. well, we're not calling him because he's not there now. <laughs> you see, you see. <laughs> that. Who they are. Shabada, Shabada. Ramsey, Ramsey, I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, When me. you left me here, I completely got buckled. You see my sweat now, my shirt sweat. Yeah, now, why are yeah. you sweating? Yeah. Because you're your presence, you're your not, presence you're not, you're has yet. affected me, my friend. Oh, Lord. And I hope that presence is going to affect our own. Will well, you it perform? Will, it will, it will yeah, definitely. It will. Just tell people them for come out. You I'm one of the ages of people them come out, in it, especially the girls who do ear and just in the hat. Come out. All of the hat girls them come and sing at the front. Absolutely. <laughs> I make mean, a stable one them sing at the back, so I can't see them. If you come and you weave a drop out, make a describe you, make an adjective. You know? Whoa. You understand? If you close the fit you, if can't depend your toe, or you have bunny and you heel back or rub, really? make a fix you. Know? <laughs> Great man, let me tell you. Now I know you've been busy right there. Now I must say you look kind of different now. You look kind of well, though. Yeah, you know, because you, you, my ear do. Ah, good, 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 my good. Ear do. So tell me, the profession is a very hard profession. Yeah, you, ha you have to maintain it. You have to make sure you're on top of the game. Yeah. Speaking to your colleagues right now, it's been sing a lot of praise about yourself. How do you manage to keep on top of the game? Because guess what? I'm listening. When you're running, you have to make sure that you're well fit. Ah yeah. So when you perform, what are you looking at me like that? You what are you looking at me like that for? Because you're full of abs. Ah, oh, all right then. Okay then. Are you, you're starting on me right now. Are you start? Yeah, you're starting on me right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to talk after the show, right? We're yeah, gonna have to talk definitely. after the show properly. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, so you, so you manage to be on top of the game all the time, yeah? Yeah. Um, are you influenced with the media, with the social activities, for you to perform to be hundred percent on top of the game? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have to perform in front of a media, in front of an audience. I can perform with one single person. Mm -hmm. Or even by myself, you understand me? I just some say them some are bipolar, them some are mad, but me not mind. Tripod. Bipolar. <laughs> and you make your own dictionary. <laughs> now, put me in the boy. I'm people think some education dropping on. Do you know what? It's a pleasure having you in the studio, and I want to I want to ask you a question. Yeah, Would it ahead. be possible before you come and perform for us to do a show together? Forget about everybody. Just you and me to do a show together. Okay, I can show you my six pack. <laughs> 